Hi everyone, this is Mason from ReportWriters.com. Today I'm going to be walking you through and giving you a demo of Domo. To hire someone like me to help you build reports and dashboards in Domo, please visit ReportWriters.com. Domo is a business intelligence and data visualization tool that's geared not only towards business users, but also to data professionals. It allows you to ingest data from data connectors, transform that data if needed, and then eventually visualize and dashboard that data for consumption by business executives or business end users. Today I'm going to be taking you through and showing you some of the key features in Domo, as well as showing you how to ingest data into Domo, as well as doing a quick dashboard and visualization exercise. Let's get started. When you log into Domo, the first thing you'll see is a page like this. Since we're going to be ingesting data into Domo today, we're going to spend most of our time in the data center. Let's go there now. Up here at the top, you'll see a menu button. We'll click the menu, then we'll click data center. As you can see, once we get to the data center, Domo will display all the data sets that we have connected to this instance of Domo. These can be searched by name, type, user, and also be sorted based on specific criteria. We can also transform data using data flows, or we can see any of the accounts that we have connected to this instance of Domo. As you can see, I don't have any accounts connected. Today, we're going to be ingesting an Excel file containing employee data into Domo. To do that, we'll go here to the Connect Data section and click Cloud App. This will take us to the connector screen that will display all the connectors that Domo has available to connect to different data sources. These range from anything from AWS to Facebook and anything in between. Since we're going to be connecting an Excel data set, let's search Excel. Based on our search criteria keywords, Domo brings up the connectors that are most suited for our task. This includes Google Drive and several built-in Excel connectors. Since we just need a simple Excel file drop, let's connect via the file upload connector. Once we click on the connector, it'll take us to this screen, which will give a brief overview of the connector, how easy it is to use, and any frequently asked questions that might be useful for you. Once we're ready, we'll click get the data, and then we'll be taken here to this screen. This Excel connector allows us to drag and drop files into Domo, so we'll do that now with our employee data. Once we've done that, you'll see our data in a preview format, along with our row and column headers. Domo will make an educated guess based on your data, but you can specify the column header row, or you can specify a specific selection from your sheet. Once we're ready, we'll hit next and confirm one last time the data looks good. Once we were ready, we'll hit next and then we'll name our data set. In our case, let's give it something, a simple name like employee test. Once we've done that and added any optional descriptions, we can save and Domo will ingest our Excel, Excel file. Once it ingests the Excel file, we will be able to create a card, dashboard, and visualization using this data. I've gone ahead and created several cards as an example to show off some of the features of Domo's card builder. We took our data that contained employee name, hire date, and employee active flag, and created a sim some simple cards that show metrics that might be useful for an executive, such as the active employees, how many employees are being hired by month, and how many current active employees that we had for last year that are still working for us today. As you can see, we have 13 active employees and 11 inactive employees. Let's click into Domo's card analyzer and take a look at some of the features. Domo easily organizes our data so that we can quickly build visualizations. It organizes it based on data type into dimensions and measures. As you can see, we have a text field, a date field, and numeric fields. Chart properties is where we can adjust and edit the visualization. We can change the colors. We can add hover text. We can even change our number formats. We can also add custom sorts and filters to the data. Over here, we can switch the chart type. We can sort by popular, we can look at lines, area graphs, pie graphs, even geographic features that Domo might have to offer. 
Lastly, Domo contains a simple SQL-based calculated column tool called Beast Mode. Let's take a look at that now. Right now, this card is displaying active employees, but since the employee active column is a flag, a one or a zero, all we know is that there are 13 one values and 11 zero values. That's not very readable. So what I've done is I've created a calculated column called employee active flag test, text, excuse me. This changes the one to active and the zero to inactive. This will help the graph be more readable. As you can see, it's a simple SQL format case statement. Case when the active flag is one, then active. When the active flag is zero, then inactive. Let's put that on the graph instead and see what changes. As you can see, we now see that we have 13 active employees and 11 inactive employees. Let's go ahead and save and close the card. This will then display on our page. Just that quickly, we created a calculated column and we adjusted the card to meet our needs. Thanks everyone for tuning into this demo. If you'd like to learn more or speak to a report writing and dashboard visualization specialist, please visit reportwriters.com. Also, in the link below in the description of this video, you can follow to our contact page to learn more. Thank you for tuning in.